Also in the news, a Utah theater has decided not to play Brokeback Mountain in its theaters. It's a movie theater that belongs to a Utah Jazz basketball uh, team owner, Larry Miller. They abruptly changed the screening plans and decided not to show the film Brokeback Mountain. The movie is an R-rated gay romance western and was supposed to open on Friday at the Megaplex in uh, Salt Lake City. A message posted at the ticket window read, There has been a change in booking and we will not be showing Brokeback Mountain. We apologize for the inconvenience. So, really? having a little problem out there in Utah getting Brokeback Mountain on the screen. Utah gets serious, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Well, we're talking about it. So, I think that some Utahns are going to be curious and they'll travel to California or to Arizona or other places that can, uh, that will show. Yeah, I'm going to drive to California from Utah just to see Brokeback Mountain. There's a realistic plan. I think this show has really hyped it. And, uh, yeah. you know, there's... Yeah. Where are you going, George? Dri- George, seven people have this. I'm going to drive... I'm going to drive... I hate to break your heart. I'm going to drive 1,200 miles to watch Heath Ledger give Jake Gyllenhaal a rim job. <laughs> I could see that in the streets of Manhattan in the village every day. <laughs> Robin, anything else in the news? Yes. Uh, yes. The uh, Broadway show mm-hmm. Phantom of the Opera will become the longest-running show on Broadway. Actually, it already happened. It happened last night or the night before. Uh, the curtain goes up on that performance, whatever it was, and that was number 7,486, uh, surpassing the previous record set by Andrew Lloyd Webber's I'm act. the Phantom of the Cohen. <laughs> hold your nose, hold your nose, hold your nose. So Phantom doing very well and still there. will be uh, continuing to run until April, breaking records. Uh, and there's going to be a record label that focuses on gays. So- oh, <laughs> oh, my. Sony BMG yeah. and the founder of Logo, MTV's gay channel. Boy. A lot of Broadway show news, a lot of gay stuff. Since George got here, you're George's news today. I think you're playing the whole show to George. You know what I mean, Howard? Yeah. You have changed the world. All right. Our civilization. I was in the bathroom trying to blow myself. <laughs> 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 They're launching a new record label, and while they what say, while they say, don't picture it, please. Thank God I came nowhere near it. 